guys, so it's me, Kiani. Today's video is that time of the month for me to bring to you my favorites. And we're in September, which means this is going to be my August favorites. And as every month, this month has gone by with the flash. And, you know, I really think it's cool for me to be able to do this type of video for you guys because it gives me a moment just to kind of pull back, recap the month, and remember all the amazing things that happened in the month previous and actually pray for an even better month to come. September being my birthday month, I'm sure there's going to be all types of fun makeup things to get myself into, but right now, I actually just want to walk you guys through some of the things that kept me all giddy inside and on top of my makeup game for the month of August. As in life, you know, there's always soundtracks, I think, that go along with life, and some people like to indulge themselves in music. I'm one of those that kind of finds myself enthralled in food. And I have actually been trying to get myself on more of a healthy eating plan and, um, you know, to be accountable for the things that I put into my body. And the days that I was actually really, really focused on doing better and being a better example to my kids and um, to everyone around me, those are the days that I actually use my, you know, I drank my green smoothies. If I drank my green smoothies during the day, then I would actually directly be a little bit better in the afternoon with my snacks, but then I would probably fall off the wagon in the evening. But I have to actually show you guys the three things, well, the two things, because obviously my green smoothie, I've already had it today, so I'll just show you guys a picture of it, and if you guys want to know how I create it, just comment down below, and I'll make sure that I create a video to let you know what I'm actually putting into my green smoothie. But the things that I'm putting in my salad, I have to talk about these. These are the Mount Olive Pepper Rossini um, peppers. These are kind of mild banana peppers. And those of you that have been uh, living in the South, you know that there is a food chain called Papa John's. And they have these amazing pizzas that you can get. But they also have these little peppers that go along in the pizza. Now we haven't had pepperoni, but for some reason I have really been wanting to put these these peppers on my salads and they are absolutely amazing like I want to eat one right now and you guys I don't want to hear are you pregnant because now honey she is not pregnant but these things are so amazing I can almost eat them instead of eating pickles so if you guys kind of like salty kind of spicy things these are amazing to put on top of a green salad and they have really really kept me on my health gain or somewhat on my health gain for the month of August now, I have to talk about, I can't talk about such good things without talking about when I completely fall off the wagon. Because let's be real, your girl is actually human and I am a candy finale. I like things that are really, really sweet. I like things that are really, really tart. Not necessarily cakey things unless it's like a cinnamon roll or something. But I have really, I love like sweet tarts and stuff like that. So, imagine my surprise when I actually walked into our beef jerky outlet. My sister was in town and my nephew loves beef jerky. There's an amazing um, store right down from our big outlet mall in Concord Mills in Concord. And they had this green, oh my God, y'all, this green um, popcorn. I'm going to go ahead and take a, take a bite. This stuff is amazing. This is my third bag. So that goes to show you that I have not been a complete health freak for the month of August. But this is apple pie crunch. And oh my God, if you're a southern girl and you like pies, Apple pie is like a staple. You have to know how to make an apple pie. Even if you're just rolling out the crust and you're pouring in like some, some canned apples and putting a lot of sugar and cinnamon and making your own, you know, apple pie. But pie, if you love popcorn, apple pie crunch. This tastes like apple pie with a little bit of the salt from, pep, from um, popcorn. Oh my God. So I wanted to show you guys this video. Um, the owner of the, the store, in Concord sponsored one of these bags and I ate the bag. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. So I ate the bag. I went back by this past Saturday because I knew I wanted to include this into my favorite video. And God dang it, they had this one. This is the five flavor crunch popcorn. Can you see what's happening? Can you see what's happening? This bag is not going to make it. This bag actually has cherry grape raspberry apple and banana flavored popcorn but that not insane the bags run about five dollars you guys but let me tell you they are deadly to a diet so i want to let you guys know about the things that i've been eating for this month and then we're gonna move directly into makeup i'm gonna try and stop drooling hold on mm -hmm. yeah 
that bag is gonna be in trouble after this video is over. Mmm. I had so many fun things that I want to share with you guys as far as makeup goes. I had to actually put it down all down on my on my um, phone here. So we've gotten through the things that I've engulfed in my mouth. Let's show you the things that I played with on my face. This little gem right here, this is the MAC Studio Conceal and Correct Duo. I want to say that this actually made it into my favorites video last month, but this color corrector is absolutely amazing, you guys. This is the rich yellow and the burnt coral. I mix these two colors together and create the most amazing concealer. You guys know if you've been following me for a while that I've actually since given up just using regular concealers. Um, the skin is actually a little bit more mature and I really don't like to highlight as much right now. Um, I just tend to think that my skin looks better with more of a light natural type beat. So this is what I've been using to create that look. Just using, you know, my favorite foundation under, on top of this and it gives the most amazing coverage. It's not over cakey. It goes on very, very nicely. Obviously, I'm going to say if you have dry skin, you definitely want to use your really good eye cream. And then you can kind of go in and mix this out using a little bit of a damp beauty blender. I think it actually sheens out very, very nicely. It goes on after I set it with translucent powder and I absolutely love this product. This is the only concealer and I dare say that this is actually going to make it to my holy grail list for the year. Absolutely love this. Well, I can't talk about concealer without talking about my favorite foundation for the month. And you guys know I'm a fan of the Makeup Forever. And they came out with the Ultra HD Foundation. I've done a full review on this product. So I'm not going to go on and on about it. But trust me, it is it is worthy of me going on and on. I'll leave the link in the down bar of why I love this product so much. And actually comparisons on the other Makeup Forever foundations if you're interested in that. I'll leave that video in the down bar so it'll be easy for you guys to find it. But this foundation has been the only one that I have grabbed. It takes amazing. It gives me amazing images when I'm taking photos. It records very, very nicely. I'm actually wearing it right now. The shade that I'm wearing is Y155, which is a direct warmer comparison of the N173 in the original Makeup Forever foundation. It comes with this amazing little pop top here. It does have a pump. And I usually use two pumps, one on each side of my face, blended out with a damp beauty blender. And it gives the most amazing skin light lustrous flow to my skin so absolutely been in love with this product so glad they actually came out with a better version of the original as if it needed it but um i've been in love with this foundation next let's stay in the skin lane shall we i have talked about this product so much that i'm you know what i'm going to rave over it once more i'm going to talk about the becca champagne pop highlight you guys this is going to create the most amazing illuminizing skin reflecting ability to your skin i think this looks amazing on all skin types and i'm actually just going to announce it again because this just made the top uh, products for the sephora stores so it is back in stock so those of you that missed out on it the first go round, it's back in stock and i want to say they're going to carry it i don't want to say part of the permanent line but i know that they are going to have it available for the month of september so it's definitely worth 38 dollars i did do a i've done a little bit of a rant on this product in some of my other videos but this product i think is absolutely amazing if you want to create look at that just a beautiful highlight you see how quick that highlight came to be can you see what's happening right there absolutely amazing get your hands on this becca champagne pop which is the combination of becca as well as jacqueline hill absolutely been in love with this product next as far as products and cheeks go let's talk about i have to talk about the morphe this is the 9b palette it's an am amazing blush palette with nine different shades and let me tell you the colors are absolutely intense this palette, I have to leave the price in the down bar for you guys, but this is actually also another product that I received from Morphe for review, and I have not used any other product. I love that I can actually mix the colors to create the perfect flush shade of blush, and I'm just going to show you guys. I'm just going to pop just a little bit of that. Can you see how that product just hit the tip of that brush? And look, just with me barely, 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 barely grabbing it. Can you see what's happening? This is absolutely amazing quality for a very inexpensive price and this is the Morphe Brushes Blush Palette which is 9B and to apply that blush I've been using non-stop my M500 brush. Can you see that? It's a beautiful, beautiful tapered what I call like a feathery blush 
brush and I just kind of whisk it along the cheek. I create highlight with this, blush, and I just love it because it's so flexible. It'll allow you to use that product on the tip, you can angle it, or you can actually just blend out and create the most amazing, um, what I would call, luminizing effect. This is the Morphe M500. It's another brush that I actually received from Morphe for a review, and it has really, really fit the bill. For me, really, to put down my Sigma F10, can you see the difference in brushes there? This being the Sigma, this being the Morphe. Can you see how much more precise this would be? Absolutely been in love with this brush. Well, you know, we're talking about brushes, so I might as well talk about the other ones that I've actually used nonstop. And as you can tell, this one is filthy right now. This is my M461, but this is actually what I use to help create the smoky eye effect. I really like this brush because it's a dual fiber brush. It really allows you to go in and fluff out what I would call condensed pack product. I really like when I'm creating smoky eyes, I like to go in and put in a lot of color and kind of see what I'm feeling like. If I want to blend out softly, I can use this brush. If I really want to blow that look out the way I kind of did for you guys here, then I can actually continue to blend out and soften the look. I think these brushes, types of brushes, are very, very important to have in your case as you're creating looks for clients as well as if you're creating looks for yourself, especially if you love a smoky eye. But not even necessarily just for a smoky eye. I think you actually need tons and tons of brushes just to really blend out those looks so it doesn't look so hmm, basic, shall we say. Brushes are very, very important to have with you. And actually, I use this brush to blend out. But it, it's one of those brushes that you only need a couple of different brushes that are really, really good to create amazing, amazing eyeshadow looks. So I had to talk about that brush. That's the M461. Lastly, by Morphe, another brush that I have not been able to put down has been the M518. And this is more like a longer pencil brush. And I really like this brush because I can really, really cup into the, uh, the center of my eye in the transition area. And I can fit it very, very nicely underneath the eye area to really, really smoke that out. The bristles are very long, so they allow you a lot of mobility. They blend out very, very nicely. And it's not too, too dense that it's actually going to streak into creams or if you're actually using powder. So I've really been loving this brush as well. This has been the M518 by Morphe. So, we're talking about eyes and another product that I have used non-stop and this is really giving me the most, what I would call, awake eye look. And I'll show you a photo that I really, especially when I'm traveling, oftentimes I don't get a chance to go back and touch my makeup up, which is not something I like to do anyway, because once a girl is done, honey, she's done for the day, um, especially when she's trying to make that coin. Mm -hmm. So, um, I have really had to concentrate on doing a specific eye look and makeup look and lips, you know, that are really going to get me throughout the day, that's still going to make me look as polished in the morning as well as in the evening, you know, depending on what I'm having to get myself into. So I have to talk about this Jordana, this is the 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in the shade Continuous Almond. And I love this. It kind of reminds you of the, you know, the white eyeliners, but this is what it looks like. And it's very, very easy for me to roll on the inside of my eye, but what it does is just really opens the eye up without looking too, too white. So I've been using this um, on the lower lash line, and then on the top I've been creating the most amazing wing with my NYC liquid liner. I've had this for a long time, you guys, and let me tell you, this product, it lasts a long time. The brush has not tend to um, wane, it's not tending to you know spike out on the sides and some of the bristles will do on um, inferior products I've been in love in this just creating the amazing cat eye on the top and then following it up using this Jordana liner and then of course for mascara we have to talk about the covergirl the super sizer this mascara I've had this for quite a while it's not one of those mascaras that I loved when I first got it I know I've had this mascara over a month month and a half and I probably only used it once or twice when I originally got it and then I was using my colossal last mascara and of course I'm out of it so this has been the backup but I'm in love with this because the bristles are actually kind of odd they do have more of a fiber edge to them instead of more of a bristle like I think these are actually they extend the lash out a lot better and for those of you girls that actually get clump and um, you know you really don't like the distribution of the mascara I think you should probably try this mascara because it really allows you to go on and apply that mascara can you see I'm even applying it down here on the bottom 
it allows you to apply that mascara and not get a lot of clump but you can get a lot of length and definition with this mascara so this is the covergirl super sizer love it and I have one more thing to talk about with lashes. The lashes that I have not stopped wearing have been the Adele, uh huh, E D E L L E. This has been the, uh, hmm, how should I say this? I actually got these from the hair show in Atlanta, and um, I'm assuming Adele is, you know, the backup or the, um, how should I say this? Hmm. This is the knockoff of the Adele that we're used to seeing, the AD. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I've been wearing these two lashes, the Sapphire and the Cleopatra, on top, literally doubling them up and creating a beautiful spiky lash. I've been loving these, and I want to say I got these, you can find these in some beauty supply stores right now for about 99 cents. And um, so I'm wearing the N. 5.5s and the E48s. Well, I'm not wearing them right now, but what I had been wearing all month was the E48s and the N55. So these two lashes right here, in love. Now, we have to talk about two more categories. And of course, there's no favorite video that I can actually do without talking about my lips. So the lippies that have gotten me through this month have been liquid lipsticks all day wear i'm so in love with these two shades right here i'm talking about the number 10 by sephora which is more like a mandarin orange i'm going to swatch it for you i absolutely love this color can you see that beautiful in love with this color especially with the clean makeup look that i've actually been wearing all month you know as opposed to this smoky eye look that i'm wearing right now so anyway, I've been loving this. It's only $13 in the Sephora store, and this is shade number 10. And when I haven't been wearing this mandarin orange, the shade that I've been wearing is the Karina. This is another liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I swear I feel like I actually mentioned this last month, but this product, I'm serious. The lipsticks run about $20, but it's worth every penny. Can you see the comparison of that? So I had either a coral or a pink in love with this lipstick and the last but not least i have to talk about the sad girl this is the deepest one and i don't know why this color is called sad girl because every time i put it on i feel anything but sad can you see it it's a beautiful plum and liquid lipsticks are actually going to be all the rage for fall they're very very great if you're wearing them to the office if you're going out on a date night girls night just hanging around i think these lipsticks are absolutely amazing or well, liquid lipsticks are amazing because they go on and they stay put so we've gone through all the foodie things all the makeup things one last thing i have to talk about is my favorite new smell good this is the modern muse la rouge by estee lauder they have really really outdone themselves this is a beautiful, sweet, amber note fragrance that I think is going to be amazing for fall. As they are, they really, really know how to create a fragrance. It is a parfum, which means it's not a toilet, which means it will last all day. A little bit goes a long way. This bottle does run about $89, and I think it's worth every penny. Literally, one spray, and you're good to go all day. As many black tie events as I had to go to this month, I did not have an ending of compliments on um, my fragrance. It wasn't one of those that had my allergies going berserk as some fragrances do, so I had to include that into my August favorites. So there you have it, guys. Everything that actually kept me going for the month of August from food to fragrance and everything in between. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment below. Did I miss some of your favorites? Make sure that you let me know because I don't like you keeping secrets. If there are amazing new products that you think I should give a try to put into my stash, make sure you comment down below. Also, remember to follow me on Instagram at love underscore Kiani to receive daily beauty tips. As well as, if you have not subscribed to my channel, click the link in the down bar. It's free. Until next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hugs and kisses. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.